Hello, my name is Chris and I work at the Sumner Public Library. I'm here again today with another craft for you for our summer reading program. This is for the adults and teens. Uh, you will have picked up your packet already. What you have is an instruction sheet um, and several clothespins. They'll be on cards like this. You'll have all one color. Um, I have uh, multicolors because I'm using the leftovers from our paint. These clothespins are all painted um, with spray paint. Um, it's the fastest, easiest um, way to do it, although some people do like to paint theirs individually um, with acrylics or other types of paint. But for this project, we've used um, just a regular old uh, spray paint for that. You'll also have a roll of wired ribbon and a piece of floral wire that will be used <laughs> to attach your bow. So um, this is a very simple, straightforward craft. Uh, to get started, you're going to use your wire wreath form, and I want you to be able to see it's these two wires that you're going to put your clothespins on. Um, the reason for that is if you put it on one clothes one wire, um, it's not going to hold. <laughs> so we're going to use it on the first two wires like that. Okay? And that's really all there is to it. You do this around the entire wreath form. Uh, you may have to adjust a little bit, but um, it really is that simple. Now, some people like to have all their clothespins lined up at the bottom like this. You can see that just is going to form a single um, unbroken line that way. But if you like, you can bring it up just a little bit and then that you get uh, kind of a staggered look. Um, it's a little harder to see here away from the camera. But um, I'll try to move it in closer to show you. But there you can see you get kind of a staggered look as you go around. Um, totally up to you. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go all the way down like this. So I will do that and we will be back in a minute. Okay, we have the clothespin portion completed. Um, as I said, I had two different colors here. If you make your own at home, you can certainly use whatever colors you like um, and multiple colors. Uh, we just provided a solid color uh, for your kits um, to allow you to decorate it how you wished. Um, then the next thing we're gonna do is add a bow to it. Um, you just take your roll of ribbon I would say I use about five feet or so. Um, it's just a good length to work with for me to tie this type of bow. Uh, and all I do is find the center and go ahead and make a loop. Go around and when you come around, give it a little twist so that you put it back through um, with your front of your ribbon facing out. I'll show you here in a moment. And that's the great thing about wired ribbon too. You can adjust it and you can um, kind of shape it very nicely and twist it around so everything is facing the way you want it to face. And here. There we go. Okay, 
so I've got a bow tied here. I'm gonna just kind of roof out the, you know, uh, the loops here, and then, and this is why I always take extra length because I'm always end up lopsided. So, <laughs> but uh, then take your bottom where you want to have a, a little fancy tail. Um, I just fold it in half and then cut from the outside up to the center so you get a little tail like like this. It's kind of hard to see against these walls. So we'll see about how long we are here. Cut it about the same length. Fold it in half and cut from that outside wire up to the center and you get your nice little pretty tail. So you've got your little bow here for your wreath. Now, what you do with your floral wire is you take that and then you just kind of work that through the back of your ribbon. It should poke through fairly easily like this and just kind of stuck it through there I'm going to bring it together and before I put it on the wreath I'm going to kind of tighten it and then twist it so that bow isn't flopping around on the wire um, so there again kind of adjust things the way we want them Okay, so with this wire, then go ahead and on your wreath form, just pick two of the clothespins um, and again, cover two of the wires because it just helps to keep it from flopping around. And I am going to go through and I am going to poke my wire through in a space where I'm going to actually loop my wire for my bow over the center two wires. So on the back, you can see your clothespins are over the first two. I'm gonna put my bow over the second two in the middle the two wires in the middle and get that wire pulled through where i want it and get my bow adjusted here a little bit and then again just twist it and tighten it and it'll be like that and then you can trim that wire off and adjust your bow so that it is shaped the way you want and um, your tails are facing the way you want that. That's why I love wired ribbon. It's fantastic for this type of stuff, the wreaths and that. So here we have it. A very, very simple, very straightforward. You can put the bow at the top. You could put it down at the bottom. You could hot glue flowers on um, to add whatever you want. Um, Dollar Tree sells little signs. You could you could get one of those and hang it in the middle here. Whatever you want, um, you can certainly do. Another thing uh, you can do, just to mention, if you don't want to put a bow on the wreath, you have other plans for that, but um, you don't want to hang it by this top wire here, which is how I hang mine. Um, I also, you can use your ribbon and just put a length of that through that top wire and then you will end up with a length here and you can you can um, make it however long you like you can tie another bow up here um, or not you can tie it off and then move the tie down behind the clothespin so you can't see it however you want to but that is another thing you can use your ribbon for to make a really simple cute um, colored for all seasons uh, clothespin wreath all right thank you for joining me have a great rest of the summer